Welcome to the NRL previews for round three of the 2024 season as we celebrate multicultural round. I'm Renee Gartner. I'm joined by our special guest this week, Justin Holbrook. Welcome to the set. Thanks, Renee. I'm excited to see you back out there in assistant coaching role at the moment, but today you're going to coach me through the rounds. All right, great. All right, well, let's tap into the first one. We're kicking off Thursday night with an absolute cracker. It is Panthers taking on the Broncos in the grand final replay, but we're not going to let Kevin Walters uh, know we've spoken about. He's put a complete ban on the Broncos players. We'll get to them shortly. Let's look at the Penrith Panthers first. Uh, they're taking a little while to warm up Penrith. Um, we saw the side last year. Compared to this year, a bit more of a slower start, but an impressive win last week. Yeah, it was. And I think, look, it's a difficult assignment to, to travel all the way out for the World Club Challenge. Mm. And obviously, they came, you know, really close to winning that. So they can take it out of you. And as you mentioned, a bit of a slow start to the season. But I thought, you know, back to their controlling best last week and, and obviously come away with a good win. But um, yeah, this game, obviously, grand final replay is going to be fantastic to kick off round three. They do this one without uh, James Fisher Harris. He's been cleared of a serious shoulder injury. Um, but it looks like he'll spend a little bit of time on the sidelines. What kind of impact will that have across the board for those guys? Well, it's going to because they're so mobile for Penrith side. I mean, you look at his front row partner, the Troy scored Moses Leota last week. He ran as fast as the centre. And, and James Mr. Harris is so so mobile in the middle, and that's why they can defend so well. So, look, he, he's going to be a big loss. But as we know with Penrith, it doesn't matter who they, they take out there. They've got a nursery of young superstars waiting to come in. So they, they, don't, they don't get knocked around too often. Um, but obviously Brisbane, which we'll touch on soon, and probably you know a few missing. Uh, well, let's uh, head straight into the Broncos. Um, as you mentioned, there is quite a few missing. Adam Reynolds and now Payne Haas out of the picture as well too. And as I mentioned, Kevy doesn't want any mention of grand finals. They watched it the first training session back and that was it. What kind of impact will it have losing two key players there? Well, it's got to impact your side, especially Adam Reynolds. We, we know how important he is. He's the orchestra of their team and interesting on the grand final. Um, Look, for obviously 63 minutes, they led it and, and were playing brilliantly well. So I think you can get a lot of positives out of how they play Penrith. Obviously, you want to try and erase or, or nullify that last 17 minutes of the grand final. Obviously, Nathan Cleary put on a, on a clinic for us all to admire. So, um, look, if you're a, a Brisbane fan or player, you're going to take a lot out of that grand final. But you'll probably, well, you were the better side for a large portion of the game. So, but moving on to this week, not having Reynolds um, or now Payne Hassel late withdrawal, they're, they're two of your big guns. It's going to be a, a huge ask for them. But in saying that, they're a side that don't like confidence. With Reese Walsh at the back, he's so electrifying. You know, you've got Penrith style of controlling, strangling uh, type of style against uh, Brisbane sort of free-flowing, back their ability, Ezra Mann, Reese Walsh type quick guys that, that can trouble Penrith. So Brisbane, a couple of big blows having those guys out, but it's still going to be a great game on Thursday. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. Tickets for this one are almost all gone. If you want to see the match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, you can watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. And kickoff is at 8pm Eastern Daylight Savings Time.